Hall and H&M Hall. In reading girls, I thought. <laughs> So they're going to be like hung like somewhere on the market. Like, I feel like it might be one of these days that I bought for the gender reveal party. I did like quite a lot of unintentional spending today. I drew myself in that. When I tell you, I'm sorry, I have not felt something like this in a high street store. We've got some horns. How cool is that? Good morning girlies, welcome back to the vlog. Happy Monday. We're actually starting the vlog on a Monday this week, which I'm so excited for. I am going to take myself on a little girly, like no pressure shopping trip because I've just been seeing everyone get the cutest bits from Primark and I'm getting FOMO. So I thought I'm waking up, I've washed my hair this morning, I'm feeling so fresh. I've like full body shaved, done a nice face of makeup, put a little like transitional fit on. Literally lived in this outfit last year and I was like, I'm absolutely going to get out. I feel like it's the perfect, like one of my favorite ways to transition out of summer into autumn is to wear like really light knits and then pair them with like really like lightweight linen trousers i feel like it's such a cute like transition and then you can transition from trainers to uggs from sandals to whatever you know boots um so yeah we're headed out this morning i'm very excited i've had a coffee this morning we're still in this car although mine fingers crossed should all be fixed this weekend and then we can decide what we're going to do with it whether we're going to sell it get a new one whether we're going to wait a few months until the house is done but like at least it'll be done and fixed and then i sort of know where i am with it so i'm excited we're still in the temporary car third week <laughs> we've had it for a lot longer than i was expecting to but i'm very grateful that i even got to basically not be a prisoner in the house and like i just don't know how like i'm just so thankful for my past self for driving like it's such a privilege to drive like that few days where i was in the house because my car was broken i didn't have anything to drive i was just like twiddling my thumbs i didn't know what to do with myself but it is half 11 we're gonna head over to stafford because they've got primark they've got h&m they've also got home sense so i'd like to just have a little mooch around i've got a parcel to take to the post office this morning so we're gonna go and do that and then literally sainsbury shop get something for dinner cook dinner start the week but we're having a very positive week this week and i can actually say because this vlog's gonna go after she's an eight i'm gonna be an auntie and i'm so excited and i know it's not even like my news to share but i have felt like so last week and last week's vlog if you were thinking like what is she doing with all this printing stuff basically on saturday we're finding out whether we're having a niece or a nephew and we're like planning my sister-in-law a big gender reveal party but obviously i couldn't say because it's going to be out before she's announced if you know what i mean so she's going to announce on saturday so i thought obviously i can't say before but yeah i'm so excited to be an auntie like i feel like i'm just i'm just we're so excited and we're so like we're so excited to find out whether it's a boy or a girl just because it's like the unknown is like killing us all so yeah i mean i literally obviously it's not my baby i don't care if it's a boy or a girl but I feel like it's going to be a girl. I'm going to say this at the start of the vlog. I feel like I'm going to have a niece. But because, like, Mia's having a girl, like, I feel like it'd be fun to have a girl for that so I, you know, can trio us up and make us all friends. Or I feel like it'd be fun to have a nephew for a different vibe. But I'm so excited to be an auntie. Like, I just... I'm so excited. So, yes. I also would like to see if I can get something. Obviously, because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. But my sister is also going to be 21 on Saturday. So, I've already got her a few little presents, which I can show you guys. Um, so, we've got that on Saturday. So, the weekend is just going to be, like, getting ready for the party, essentially. On Friday, I've also got a sweep with me. I'm going to sweep because she's, like, about to give birth. I had a dream last night that she gave birth to twins. I texted her, like, 2am, like, just had dream. Woke up. You had twins. <laughs> I was like, thank you, I read this one. I was like, brilliant dream. What else have we got going on this week? Um, me and Mira are going to have like a chill day because she's going to get ready to move house. Well, put a house on the market. So we're going to have a little like declutter, just like chill day tomorrow. Wednesday, we're going to head out for lunch with my mom. Thursday, I'm having like a girly sister day. We're going to go for lunch and a little shopping trip because it's my sister-in-law's 21st birthday. So we're going to have a little girly day. And yeah, just like gender reveal planning, all of that. So I'm so excited. I feel like it's going to be like a really lovely week. It's also bank holiday weekend. So we're going to be at the house a lot Sunday and Monday. Obviously, we're going to have Saturday off because of the party. But yeah, I'm so excited. So welcome back to the vlog. I feel like it's going to be a long one. I don't know why, but I feel like some weeks I don't have much to say. Other weeks I have a lot to say. And I feel like this week is one of those weeks where i have a lot to say so we're gonna head out and 
I will see you guys out. I also would love to get a pumpkin spice at some point this week. I feel like, I know it's only August, but when Starbucks starts, I also have not had a Starbucks for so long. Like, I wish Costa would bring out pumpkin spice, but I mean, they never seem to. It's been years and like they've never done it. So I feel like it, whether Starbucks have got it like trademarked, I don't know, but I would like to get myself a pumpkin spice because I feel like it does just get us in the autumn mood. I'd also really like to make my autumn like mood board because I feel like that's always really motivating and just like what season do I want to have in this month of my life and just like plan it and make it aesthetic and put cute activities and outfits and just like what vibe do I want, you know? So I'm feeling really excited, really grateful. I'm sure you guys can tell by my mood. I'm in a very happy mood this week. So I will see you guys at Stafford. It'll take me about half an hour to get there. So hoping it shouldn't be too busy with it being Monday. But I'm also hoping that Primark have like restocked all of their cute bits. So yes, I will see you guys in Primark. But if you guys are excited for the weekly vlog, then get yourself a cup of tea, make yourself a little whipped coffee, get a snack and just sit back and let's have a lovely week together. Okay guys, we are my youth teacher i remember she literally went on maternity leave with that child and that child looks like a teenager that is crazy anyway we've got to stafford i ended up parking in the darkest car park possible so i couldn't talk to you guys but h&m's here and then primark's here to be fair i actually think it's a good primark sometimes it's awful but i feel like i have high hopes let's see what's new in i've spotted this at the door and i think this is so nice £14, I love it with the green. I feel like you just can't beat like a zip up at this time of year. So they've got that and then this is kind of similar to the one I got a few months ago but it had like lace on but for £4.50 slay. They've got some flares. I'm actually very shocked at this. It's like a very like athleisure vibes which I was not expecting. Like they've got this. And that's some sweatshirts. I've not seen these bags before. I like the shape. I think the black is cute, but and I like the fact it has gold hardware. They are ten pounds slay. I just wish that I feel like this colour is a, this colour is a little bit like mm, not like the strongest colour. I feel like it might be one of these days, so I'm just gonna get one in case. I actually like both of these. I like this more like neutral one, and then I like it with the black as well because I feel like it looks so cute with some black leggings or linen trousers. But I'm so happy that they've got this. I'm gonna get it in a medium. I think. I don't know if a small would be big enough. They look really big. This is the small one. I'm even with these trousers, I know you can't see, but I feel like, like with these, it would look really cute. But they've got a few different colours. They've got a lot of different colours. They've got like the camel, the grey, but I feel like the blue is just so cute. Like I can't not get it. Also, this I feel like would be really cute with just some like white GM, some like blue baggy jeans. It's giving me very like Sophia Tuxford. This jumper is so cute. Again, like baggy jeans, some like black linen trousers with this would be so cute. £15. We all know my obsession with knitted cardigans. This is £13. I think it's so cute. Like in the blue with the buttons. I really, really, really like this. But because I've got the blue jumper. I'm going to refrain and hopefully they'll come out with some like different colours of this. I feel like this could be really cool, worn, right. I really actually like that. And it's like oatmeal colour. £13 again. I'm sorry, I hate these. And I saw Sydney my crate to get them and I was just confused. Like I just, I hate these. They really give me 2012 vibes. Like that with the writing, no, no. Hate. I might really say go yard too. They're £14. And this is how they look. They've got green and they've also got like more of a brown. And they've got different styles. They've got more like saddle bags, they've got the tote bags, and then they've got little like cross bodies as well. I feel like though you might as well, if you want the style, like just get the, the dupes of them. Like I know me, I got some off eBay. I've seen them on TikTok. Like, but the dupes are probably better than the Primark like, knockoffs. I've just spotted these and these are so soft. They feel like the softest thing ever. And then they've also got leg warmers for. £4.50 and I loved it last year when people wore them with Uggs. Definitely want to get some this year. They've got so many. They've got the slouchy socks and I thought like they're just perfect for like gifts. Okay, I'm on the hunt for new pyjamas because I deserve some. Oh, these ones are lovely. These are the ones that I love, the boyfriend ones. I also love this purple colour. I feel like for autumn these are so cute. Oh my gosh, they've actually got so many. They've also got pink. 
I'm gonna get these ones though. And I really like this colour. I feel like these are cute. I'm gonna get them in a medium because I feel like mine always shrink as well. But loads of different perfumes which I feel like I've never seen in here. These are mini perfumes, these are only three brand. You know what? That smells very nice and like fruity. I actually really like them. Yeah, it smells like region. Are you sure you're happy with that fizz? I'm just mooching around like the beauty bit. The basket has filled up. I think I like Loki forgot that it was the school holidays and now I'm like, yeah, that's why it's so busy. I love all this sort of stuff though. This is so cute, this headband. I feel like headbands just really, really pull me in. Like, that is adorable. I don't really understand the why you need that underneath, but okay, it's like. They've got so many little, like, beauty bits and it's very, like, that girl. Like, all of this nail art stuff is so cute. We checked out, but I thought no, we could have a proper look around the home bits because it was really busy. So I thought, let me pay and then come back. It's not the biggest section, but I feel like they do have cute bits here. I'm just obsessed with all the autumn bits. Like these cushions are so nice. These are £9. Also, love the pumpkin, although I feel like I've seen cuter and probably cheaper elsewhere, but still. Grateful that they're doing it. So we have really lovely looking candles at Hokey. Oh, so nice, it's only $3.50. I've also got like a little pumpkin. Oh, I feel like this is so adorable. That is so vanilla. This is popping in camera, let me go again. Okay, I think I get the camera. I really got vanilla to start with. These I just can't believe are giving such like gorgeous bits. We've also got little like pinch bowls, which are so cute. Like these are actually beautiful. Lots of different colours. This is today's outfit. It's actually all boohoo. The bag is mishap, but I got it off Boohoo. This was last year and I don't think they will sell it, but if, if it's restocked, I will link it. And then these are just like striped, striped little trousers and then just boogies. But, oh yeah, I'm just mooching around. I did get a little cute mug, which I'll have to show you, but I'm just looking at their bed linen, like this is really cute, not really giving. I leave with my boyfriend though. Oh my gosh, the pumpkin stuff. I like this like striped with the like blue, it's cute. So much music in here, I just know I'm gonna get copyrighted but I'm having a little mooch around them. I've actually got some really cute bits. These are like the Zara ones, but honestly they feel so much thicker. I've picked up a short sleeved one. Also they've got some little flares but they feel really thin. Okay guys, I didn't end up talking to you in HM because the music in there is always so... I don't know where the light is in here. The music in there is always so loud and it just copyrights me every time. But I did get a few bits, so I will do a huge haul when I get back. But I'm just trying... Oh, it's here. I just need to go and do the parking, but I weren't sure whether I left this in here or whether I put it in my bag. So let me go and do that and then I'll be back and then we're going to run home sense like on the way home because it's sort of the way I've got to go anyway. And there's just nothing better than a home sense trip, especially this time of year i don't think i'm going to be able to go to home sense because i have just queued in traffic there must be traffic lights like so all right imagine primark's here if you guys aren't local primark's like on this island then there's like another island with um home sense on and then there's like another island which is the island that you either go like left to one town right to my town there's like traffic lights at the top i remember seeing them last week but it has taken me half an hour to get from this island to this island and like, well, no, I'm not at this island. I'm halfway. So I've just stopped off because I was starving hungry. Just stopped off at TK Matt, um, <laughs> Tago Bell. I got myself a Lipton iced tea and then I just got myself a Seven Lee burrito because I haven't eaten anything today. And I just thought, and I don't think I'm gonna have 
Like, I don't think I care to sit in that traffic all the way to home sense. It just looks so bad. And, like, you know when you're just not moving? Like, I've just sat here, like, and I know I'm not even halfway. And then I'm going to end up stuck in it to come home. Whereas if I'm here, I can, like, go the other way home. So I feel, like, sorry for getting you guys hopes that we go to home sense. I would love to go one time this week. Maybe I will come. I feel like it's just getting late now as well and like if I go I'm going to end up getting back really late and like I've still got to go and get stuff for dinner and that so mm. this is like my favourite well this is the only thing I ever get from Taco Bell it's black beans Mexican rice sour cream cheese and like tomato I think guacamole last week they put jalapenos on it and they were like grained up in it and I was like having to put them out because I really don't like jalapenos but mm. this is really good my shopping's in the boot but I actually got some really cute things I need to like try them on but I'm hoping that it'll all be cute <gasps> oh no oh no it's fake is it fake yeah oh my god for a minute then i thought there was a bird stuck to the factory but i think it's meant to be a fake bird to scare birds away because he's not flapping he's like just swerving around <gasps> that freaked me out look can you see that like behind the the light i think it must be to scare people off well it must be to scare birds off not people but it scared me for a minute i thought oh my gosh the bird was stuck but no it's a deterrent so yeah apologies we're not going to go to home sense but i would like to go at some point this week i mean we've got forever i feel like home sense is truly like a september place so we don't need to do everything at once but primark actually so good and so with h&m i feel like primark is definitely more in their autumn vibe a lot more knitwear whereas h&m didn't really have much knitwear but they had like really cute basics which is what a lot i got a lot of what i got and like just a lot of athleisure like a lot of hoodies and like big slogan like so maybe those will be cool again but oh. it definitely got me excited for for the new the new season so i feel like this is just like the best fashion ever so yeah i'm gonna eat this I've got the girls' bathroom on and then I'm just going to drive home because I just feel like I can't be bothered to sit in the traffic to end up sitting in, in it again to come home. So I'm just going to go the other way. And we will just put that on our list of things that we want to do. So it's giving the girls. So like, okay, yeah, you've posted me on your feed and I'm on your story, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But the Evening, guys i thought that i could give you a little haul so let me go and get the bags i did like quite a lot of unintentional spending today i didn't really go out with the intention of buying much but probably bought the most i've bought in a while so i've got a lot of stuff to go through we've got primark haul and h&m haul i will start with the primark stuff so first thing i got were these pajamas i love these i'm actually so glad i sized up i always normally get a small in these i think a look at my yeah so a 10 to 12 whereas these are the 12 to 14 like don't get me wrong they're a bit big and like but they're just so much comfier and honestly it just makes me happy to have a new fresh pair of these because i haven't treated myself to a new fresh pair of pajamas like especially long ones like these for so long and although these like aren't really great for sleeping in right now i just love to after my dinner get my makeup off put these on and then i feel like put together enough to still go about you know the house and carry on with my evening so yeah i love these so i got them in this sage green color white piping just like really cute classic pajamas i feel like you can't really beat them so from primark we got these and then we got the viral blue jumper i'm so happy that i finally got my hands on this this was 17 pound i don't know if i had any of the other colors last year i think last year they did camel they did gray they did pink i want to say 
but I really liked this blue and I feel like I have quite a lot of blue in my wardrobe like I always gravitate towards it so I thought with denim with linen trousers the only thing is that I'm slightly worried about is whether I got a like I can't remember last year what sizes people were going for they only had smalls or mediums obviously I held them up thought the medium would be okay I'm hoping it will I even feel like cream leggings so cute baggy jeans so cute just like obsessed with this and it's so thick 17 pound i feel like is probably a little bit expensive for like a primark jumper but these are like you you can't moan at the quality i feel like this is a very like zoella back in the day setup just getting some lip balm because my lips are dry this is like the only lip balm i've been using for the last few weeks it's the Laneige very lip balm i feel like i always have this on there so i also got the same boyfriend pajamas these are 15 pound i think when they first started doing they were maybe 12 but i do feel like they are worth 15 pound i got them in this like white and i feel like it's like a gray colored pinstripe i feel like these are so cute these are so soft i also feel like the lapels have been made like a little bit thicker now i don't know i'm just these are my red ones feels a lot thinner like the material just feels slightly different and i feel like these are so cute like i love the pinstripe i feel like these are just look very put together and like cute for like winter you know cute then random things because you can't go into power without right? getting random things i got this little matching set for six pound i just don't really have any like dark underwear i always tend to go for like either colored or like neutral but i do feel like you know if you're in a dark top i also can never find the bra like i found this wireless bra from primark a few months ago and i got it in like a nude color i've literally never seen it. like i want it in every color because it's the only bra if i want like a padded bra that i will wear it's so comfortable it gives me such a lift without being like uncomfortable or anything like that so i know this isn't that at all but yeah i don't have a real dark bra so i got this set and it's cute it's got i love this i don't can't think what it's called but i love this little material and cute little thong moment so yeah treat myself to that I feel like you can't be a new um set of underwear and then this I'm obsessed with like I'm just really manifesting being in the house with this so it's this heart mug obviously it's got hearts all over it's in the shape of a heart which I'm just obsessed with like it's so like cute I feel like Primark have just absolutely like smashed it with this and then on the bottom of it it says today is your day and it's got this little love heart if you guys can see like I'm sorry that is so cute and like, I'm just thinking in my new house with my coffee machine doing the little frothed milk and then seeing that on the bottom I feel like that is just so cute so I thought I'd treat myself to that so I need to put that with my like house stuff and then I think at some point I'm gonna do like a what everything I've brought for my first house sort of video because not that I've brought loads but like I'm starting to think about getting more and more stuff now because I just know like we're gonna end up spending a bomb when we move in on like essentials so I'm thinking um, if you guys want that video, obviously I've got nowhere near enough to do the video yet, but before we move in, or at least like the first week that we move in before I start putting stuff away, because also like I don't want to obviously do it when we're in the house because the stuff will be put away. So let me know if you guys want to see that. And then, how to them? I just literally got three tops. So the first thing I got was this like, burgundy maroon plum one i just feel like like i said at the start of the day in the car i feel like this color is just going to be everywhere so i saw this got it it's 4.99 but it was on like that i just noticed when i was in that they had a lot of member only prices you weren't saving a lot you were saving like maybe a pound or three pound but this was down to 3.99 and obviously i reckon majority of us are members i mean i'm a member i feel like when you make a purchase online you become a member so all she did was just put my email address in and i got it but it's this little plum t-shirt but it's like a like a knit and it's like a, a tiny bit sheer and i feel like this worn with some baggy jeans and uggs will just look so cool because it's like a basic t-shirt but it's giving more of like just an autumnal sort of material so i loved this i saw it they had it in so many colors from like white beige gray blue this like plummy color they had black they had chocolate brown they had so many so if you guys want the code i feel like h&m is always very good with codes it's that i believe so yeah i got that i don't obviously know how it fit we'll probably have to do a little try and haul i won't probably do it tomorrow but we might do it on wednesday so i'll try all these bits on and then obviously i'm gonna go shopping with my sisters on thursday so then if when i go shopping if i need to make any returns we can make them on thursday so i got that then again in the same color 
I got this. This was twelve ninety nine. I got this in a small, and I got this in a small. I think. Yeah, I thought this was so cute. It's this like again that sort of colour, and it's just a striped long sleeve top. It's a really nice like soft rib. It's not too thick or rigid. It's like quite soft. And this is the article code if any of you guys want it. But I just thought screenshot. <laughs> I just thought this again like baggy jeans or even some like brown jeans. This could look so cool. White cargo trousers, Uggs trainers. I don't know whether to see if I can get some like more autumnal sambas. I love the spezials that I brought, but like realistically I've worn them twice. And they were like, I mean, I feel like they are quite well priced, but they're like ninety pound, and I probably will wear them next summer, but. And I'll just have to make a conscious effort to wear them for the autumn winter. But I just feel like I haven't worn them. Like I unboxed them, never put them on because I just wasn't really like, I don't know. And now I'm like, oh, summer's nearly over. They literally look brand new. But I would like to maybe find like more of a autumnally pair. And I saw these really cute sambas. They were like white with gold on. And then this like burgundy, like plummy colour. So I don't know whether to maybe get those. I don't know. But I don't want to buy them if they're going to be a waste. Like, I don't want to buy them if they're just going to sit in my wardrobe and be worn a couple of times. So we need to wear our options up. And also I'm like, do I treat myself to a new pair of Uggs? Because it's going to be autumn and they're going to be sold out. But I'm like waiting to see what the trend is. Because I'm like, would look. I think if I buy Uggs, I'm going to invest into Tasman's. Just a classic pair of low, not platform chestnut tasman's i feel like i'll wear them so much and i feel like chestnut just goes with everything but i've got chestnut platforms if you guys were here last year and then i've got antelope just minis ultra minis like normal so i'm thinking a chestnut flat will probably serve me well so yeah anyway i feel like this will be so cute even just wearing it warm with joggers not that i tend to go for joggers much now shocking i know but yeah i feel like this would just look really cute with a lot of stuff and i feel like it'll be nice to layer under like jackets or whatever oh God, this self is really giving me like nostalgic youtube vibes i love it and then final thing of the day final purchase of the haul this was 9.99 when i tell you i'm sorry i have not felt something like this in a high street store for months this is insane i remember how them came out of these t-shirts maybe last year and they were nice but these are different these are more slinky they're so thick they had long sleeve ones to start with and i was like oh my gosh like i need them but i've got zara long sleeve white and brown those are the two colors i did and i thought okay i don't really have a short sleeve white t-shirt that i go for a lot so i thought okay i will try this one so like i said 9.99 screenshot the code also ignore my nails they're so grown out and i haven't got an appointment till next week so actually just kill me now i'm gonna be so grown out i don't know why i've done that to myself but it's this little white t-shirt and I just can't tell you like how unreal this material feels like if you do one thing after you watch this vlog please let it be get in your car and drive to h&m and go and fill this t-shirt because it is intense again they had so many colors they had like a lot of just like basic neutral colors so i'm very intrigued to see how this fits and then if i like it i feel like i need to maybe invest in some long sleeved ones for autumn so I know I've, I know I love my brown one from Zara, but it's maybe a little bit too see-through sometimes. Whereas this like isn't see-through; it's like really like thick, and just like feels almost like oh, I just couldn't even explain. Like it feels insane. So that is everything that I got. My plans for the evening is I am literally going to put all this away. I've just posted a little TikTok. And I've started the third Frida McFadden handmade book. So that's the last of the series. I actually don't know where this like reading era has come from in there. I just really got the urge last week to start reading again. And I'm so happy because I love the fact it's an activity that yes, like I'm reading on my iPad on the Kindle apps, like it's still a screen, but it's not social media and it's not just like endlessly scrolling. I just love, love it. And like, I feel like I've picked a good series to like get stuck into. So I'll show you. Oh, I've sat on my feet, but it made me feet really hard. Okay, right. me my little green green vibe okay so this one is called the house where he's watching i just tried to read it while i was cooking because i was listening to the girls bathroom patreon episode and sophia was saying like why she loves her, her kindle so much is the fact she can do her makeup and read her book 
cook and read her book, brush her teeth, read her book. And I was like, oh, I've never really thought of doing that. Like, I do only really ever read my book when I'm, you know, sat. Where is my flip? One sec. My hair's really bothering me. So I was like, oh, so I took it down test. I don't think that's for me. I feel like I just couldn't, like I couldn't concentrate. And like, maybe if it was a meal where there was like more chopping involved, but I literally made lamb roast. So all I had to chop up was an onion. And then like I was trying to fry the lamb, but then I was thinking about all the oil spitting onto my iPad and then that was stressing me out. So I don't think I am like a walk around and read type of girl. I mean, maybe doing my makeup or like drying my hair, but unless I'm sat, I feel like I'm not really into it. So anyway, I'm so proud of myself. So I've read these ones now. Oh, that's the first one. That's the second one. This is the third one. And it's a really good series. I posted that I was reading it and a lot, well, a lot of you guys told me to read it. And then these little bits of my hair, I'm trying to grow out. Well, I'm definitely going to grow out my bangs, by the way. If you guys were curious about an update on whether I was going to or not, I am. I'm so fed up of them. Um, yeah, so I'm 8% through. I literally started it this evening when I got in, but I love it. It's, they're only like, they're all 400 pages, all under 400 pages, which I feel like is really good. And they're like thrillers with like a bit of romance but like very like scandal suburb based drama i just love them like they've if you guys read like sherry lapina's books when they came out back in the day you'll really like these but yeah i did say last week's vlog but i got um kindle unlimited and literally like all of that those frida books are in it there's lots of books that are in it a lot of colleen hoover books like a lot of books that i see on like book talk on tiktok are all in it so I feel like I'm going to keep it, but yeah, I'm going to just try and just keep it up. Like, I'm going to leave Akatar for now, maybe once I'm not more into the reading. I mean, I'm 40% through Akatar. I've spent a lot of time. Like, I don't even want to think about how many hours. Um, I mean, I've got 33 left to go in the whole series, so I'm going to leave it for now. So, I've probably read, like, 30 hours or 25 hours of it, because I think maybe it's not, like, 60 hours. So, I'm up you know i've put a lot of effort into it but i'm gonna leave it for now and then come back if and when like no pressure but at the minute i'm just enjoying my little series the thriller the crime i just love it so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sit i'm gonna read a few chapters of this and we will see how we go so the haze maid is watching i'm just very excited so i've got four hours left i feel like this is maybe the longest one but it's like follows the same character throughout and i just really like it so i'm not going to spoil it because i want you guys to all read it but yeah i'm gonna sit i'm gonna do my skincare and then i'm just literally gonna sit and read this and i'm so excited new pajamas on fresh hair new book and i will see you guys in the morning we're gonna have an early morning workout and all of that good stuff but i love you guys so much and i will see you in the morning good night Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. It is 9am. I've been up for about an hour and a half. I read a few chapters of my book this morning. We actually, I didn't actually end up reading the whole of the night because when Ollie came up to bed, he was like, you know what we should do? He's like, let's watch a film because like we never ever sit down really and watch a film. So I was like, yeah, you know what? That's a really good idea. So we ended up watching, it was on Amazon Prime. It was like the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare and like when the style came on like we went on a few years ago like a bit of a quite what's he called the famous director who's only something tarantino i can't think of his first name um we went on like a movie marathon of all of his films and like we loved them like jackie brown and glorious bastards like all of that like we just loved them all and i was like it's really giving his vibe and i was like that's weird so i was like you know trying to get in my movie movie head so i googled like the director and it was guy Ritchie, and it was who also made the gentleman and i was like it all makes sense because when we were watching the gentleman if you watch that series with oh, i can't think what his name is but it has effie out of skins in as well it came out on Netflix not even long ago, like a month, maybe two months ago, three months ago. And it had, watch it literally be six months ago because you know you have no concept of time. But they, he made it too. And I was like watching that thinking like this really gives Quarantino, what's it called, Tarantino, Quantum Tarantino. 
I don't know. But yeah, he really gave me his vibe. So I was like, oh, it all makes sense. Like he must be inspired. And I thought, look at me being able to recognize things like that in films. I thought that's real, that's like really a sign of maturing. So it's Tuesday, we've just got ourselves to the gym. We're gonna go and do a little gym session. Then I need to take my car to the garage. And then I need to get myself just like ready. I don't even have a clip. I was meant to pick up a clip and I just ran out of the house all confused and yeah that's a, that's a big issue to be honest I've only got my headphones that's all we can ask for I don't even have a water bottle I need to go and buy some water I'm not the most prepared this morning but anyway happy Tuesday let's go to the gym and then I'll chat with you guys afterwards Keys. let's go Hello guys, we are back from the gym and we've had a little bit of a change of plan. So I'm going to go out for brunch with um, just Amber today because Mia was a little bit unsure of what her plans were going to be. And then um, we couldn't have gone out on Thursday. So we were like, okay, maybe this is a sign. Um, so I'm just switched my days around basically. So I'm just getting myself ready. I'm just going to brush my brows off. And then let them sit before I do my makeup. But I took my car to the garage. I've literally just got back. Um, look, cleaned myself up. Cleaned myself up. That sounds weird. You guys know what I mean. And now I'm just gonna sit down getting ready. I'm just gonna do like a light face. I think I'm not gonna bother doing my hair because it's raining and it's such like a horrible day. But I'm really excited because we're gonna go to like a little garden centre near us. And they do pottery painting. And last time we went, we wanted to do it at Christmas, but they didn't have any room and I was unsure whether they would have room today because obviously it's the school holidays but Jess has rang and they were like yeah no problem so we're booked at that one so we're gonna go and get they just do like they do really good coffee they do like cute sandwiches all of that so we're gonna go and have a little like brunch day and then do some pottery painting so I think I'm gonna do something for the house obviously I've got my little gingerbread if you watched vlogmas last year um I did like a little gingerbread but i'm thinking maybe just like a cute mug or plate or like bowl like a breakfast bowl maybe I might, I might do some fruit i need to have a little look on pinterest of what i want to like try and recreate but i'm thinking probably something like that where's my phone oh, i've put it on charge little flick on pinterest of what we can do so i'm excited i really love pottery paint and i find it oh my, this needs to go on charge as well this is on five percent i find it so therapeutic i've done like a few little bits oh so done i feel like i've been with Maisie as well and i can't think what i painted with her was that a mug I actually can't even remember. I don't even know whether we picked that up. No, we did pick it up because I remember giving Maisie hers, but I don't remember what I did with mine. Maybe it's with my gingerbread. Let's do some like fruit pottery. You know some, oh, this could be cute. Maybe I'll use this as my inspiration, something like this. Like, this is really cute. Can you guys say, I like to reflect in. So we've got no acai bowls today, which is sad, but I don't know if she'll be doing them any other days. I was literally just about to order them and then me and me were like, okay, no, let's rain check. So luckily we didn't order them. Yeah, something cute like this, I feel like. Like with big fruits, I feel like big fruit is harder to get wrong. Or like a bowl. Like if they've got a cute bowl, then I'll do a bowl with fruit. And then it could be like my breakfast bowl. So yeah, that is the plan of action. So I'm really looking forward to it because I feel like it's just fun to do something different and we love an activity. So I've been loving using the L'Oreal Glotion. And this is in the shade, I think it's 904. It's actually covered by a security tag, but I think it's 904. And mixing it with the Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow in 1.5 light medium. It's just like a really nice 
spice together like they mix really well together and yeah i've really been enjoying it so my gym was unexpectedly busy today and it caught me off guard like a lot of parents have this time off work i don't know but it was so busy for 9 9 a.m because normally like you're either an early gym at or you know you go with the evening so like normally nine is like quiet quiet but it was so busy i was like what the hell we started watching if you guys have watched it on netflix or i think it was netflix it was called like super cell s-u-p-i-c-e-l-l and it was sort of like giving me misfit vibes but i know you know we've got kicked out of netflix again because we are like logged in to my netflix that like my mom's on my brother's on like and it keeps kicking us off but then it will let us on so it kind of it kind of gives us false hope because it's done it a few times now it's kicked us off and then like the week later i've clicked on it and then it's let us back on so i feel like i never know so we started watching it last week but it's kicked us off now but let me know if you <laughs> do you guys see that it's like a little fly that's right went up my nose let me know if you guys have watched it because it was giving me misfit vibes and if you've watched misfits like i love i really 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 love misfits like it's one of my favorite shows growing up so let me know if it's worth watching i mean we watched the first episode and we did like it and we were going to watch it yesterday until we realized we were locked out again so that's why we just watched that film that i was telling you guys in the car about on amazon but it was actually very very good and i feel like we're getting to that stage of the year where series like there's not as much to do on the evenings it's getting dark it's getting cold so like i thought like you have to lean into series or reading which is what i'm doing I think I'm like 40% through. If I um, am ready early enough, I might sit and read a few chapters while I'm waiting for the girls. We're meeting about half 12 and we've bought pottery for one. So, oh, also, where is that? I found out my Refai bronzer. I have not used this in like, I want to say like all year. Like I actually can't remember the last time I went for a Refai bronzer um but the one i've been using has run out and i knew i had this somewhere how do you get in this okay this isn't gonna be i'm just gonna have to ruin the box sorry this was like my ride or die and i just haven't i haven't even opened it look like she's completely fresh i can't get anything up the mirror so let's see if i can remember how to use this um Oh, how sad. I'm just going to use the... Oh, it's so good. Oh, I just love the way it melts. Like, it really does just, like, melt into... Like, nothing in the best way. So nice. This is in the shade tan, I think. okay cute and then for blush i am gonna use a mix of this armani one in 50.5 and i'm gonna mix it with my made by mitchell blush in teach and peach i feel like this will be a cute combo this one's just like a little bit more pink And then I always just take the other side of my refi brush and just tap, 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 basically. Oh, guys, I started looking at a few, like, Italian wedding venues, because that's where I want my wedding. <laughs> I Weddings are just so expensive and it just like reaffirmed as to why we're having a small, like honestly as small as possible, like 
they're crazy like and i i, I respect people that want to spend that much on a wedding like if you really want but like i just think like i would so much rather have that money to put into a business put into a house like into a renovation into holidays into traveling into like a little bit more financial freedom than spending like 30k plus on a wedding and like i think 30k is like quite like quite not reasonable but like a lot of people will spend that sort of money and i just i i can't get on board i think it is absolutely crazy like i know like i really want the wedding but <gasps> not many pajamas please 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 oh my god thank god it landed on my boob <laughs> oh no no oh, i did get a little bit on my pajamas okay right let's just burn this out i should have done this first um yeah it just like the more i look into it like, the more it just makes me want to literally go to like a register office and just be married but i think like when i'm older i would regret not having like a wedding dress and like letting my grandparents and like my mum like see us get married you know so and i know you shouldn't just do it for other people but i feel like i'm the only daughter i'm the only granddaughter in the family like i'm the only girl and i feel like it's it would be like so sad to like seal the opportunity of watching their daughter their granddaughter get married you know um so honestly i i don't know what i'm gonna do but like the thought of spending like thousands of pounds on this just does not like interest me like i want a cute dress a meal like i genuinely am gonna go for the smallest wedding i think possible like i'm just not interested in spending the money like I would just rather have the money, like I said, to put into another house renovation, to buy us a house, to go on the best holiday of our lives. Like it is just crazy. Like I don't know how people justify it. I've, I really like struggle to, I think I just struggle to relate. Maybe it's because we're not like huge party people. And maybe if we were party people, you could justify it because you'd want like this big party with your friends. But like neither of us really are. I mean, Ollie like more than me, but like, he's not interested in like a party or anything like that so yeah we are really gonna be having a little small i'm thinking like a little tiny small like venue or villa where we all stay for the week and just one of the days we get married like that i just like some cute flowers obviously like a photographer i feel like a good piece of advice when you are like planning like a wedding but just a party in general is like what two parts are the most important like and those are almost like the two parts that you allocate the majority of your budget to and then the other things like you do just go for the more affordable option so i feel like a photographer is important for me because i feel like it's the one thing you're actually gonna get back from the wedding like you're gonna have these to look back on forever and i feel like memories are like so precious in a photo so i feel like i wouldn't mind spending on a photographer because it's like the only thing you're going to ever have of the day back and then i feel like obviously a dress but like again like i i'm sure there's designers out there that would do a cute dress for like a fraction of the price of others i don't know i haven't even looked into wedding wedding dress cost so i don't know about that but i would say that and then like just some like good food but like good food to me could be very different to good food to a venue or like a supplier so like it i don't know but i i don't know what to do about the whole situation to be honest guys i think it's crazy but like i just i'm just not interested in the whole like spending 30 20 25 30 grand on a wedding like i just think and some people spend like i follow this one girl she's from america she spent like 120 grand i think they all got they got married in italy but obviously i think it's probably more of an expense coming from america up oh. I don't know but yeah she spent 120 i watched her video on youtube she like went into all the costs like she didn't hide it like she was very open and honest about every cost and yeah it cost her like 120 i don't know if that was 120 dollars though uh, so let's say 60k i just think that is absolutely crazy i mean she had a lot more guests like she had a lot of guests we we wouldn't we would like keep the guests low but like even so 
I just think it's crazy. I don't know how people justify it. Like, I'm not saying it's wrong. I just, I like can't fathom the justification of spending that much money. So I just feel like, to me, it's like crazy. Um, I mean, obviously everyone's money is their own money to do what they want with, but yeah, on a personal level, I just could never, like, I would feel really physically sick when I could think, like, what we could do with that money for our family. And to spend it on a day, I just think is crazy. Like, does not interest either of us <laughs> at all. And I do feel like wed... I mean, this might be controversial, but... I do feel like weddings are probably a little bit more for the girl. And, like it's probably the girl saying like no like let's do this let's do that like let's make it this huge thing um but i feel like i'm not even like that so i can't see us having a big wedding that just like the thought of that really 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 not freaks me out but like i yeah i just can't fathom it um, I mean, you only live once, so you do you with your money. But yeah, I just feel like a small, low-key affair with like our family and our closest friends will be all that you'll be seeing from us. Like minuscule. Um, like I would rather it just be like a holiday. Like my mum and dad got married in the Dominican Republic, so I don't know ever like that. I feel like is why I've always wanted one abroad because like my parents did it, but also they just had like two weeks in the Dominican Republic with their siblings like my cousin like because he was a baby my grandparents and like there was there was like not even 15 of them I had two weeks in the Dominican Republic they got married on one of the days my mum said it cost like a couple of hundred pounds like her dress she had a hairdresser over there obviously things are a little bit different now like I wouldn't just go and just get a random hairdresser but like she had her dress they had a meal at the re at the like hotel like they saved them like a sp like a you know a private dining area they got married on the grounds and that just sounds like a vibe. Like, I just feel like that sounds so cute. Um, and then, yeah, like, they just did excursions for the whole two weeks. Like, both sides of the family were there. And they just said, like, that everyone talks, like, even though the marriage ended in divorce. But, like, both sets of my grandparents have always spoke so well about it. And, like, just said, like, it was just the best time. And, yeah. So I feel like something like that, obviously, the logistics of doing it with a lot more people. Because, like before we even consider like my mum has one sibling my dad has one sibling i have got two siblings ollie's got five siblings so like we're already up the numbers are racking up so it's going to take a little bit more planning but it, i'm thinking something like that like a week in the amalfi coast we get married on one of the days we go on a boat day we do tr boat trips like just a little bit more like a welcome dinner we just hire out a, a restaurant you know it's not like a yeah so that's what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking the next few months I'll probably have to start thinking about that because then we were saying like, do we bring it back? Do we bring it forward to 2025? And just like get it, get it over and done with. Because like, what are we waiting for? Like if it's not this huge wedding that we've got to save up for, like what, I mean, I'm not saying we're going to do it in 2025. I doubt it because that would be a very, very, very quick turnaround. But, and I've never even been to the Amalfi Coast and I would like to go next year ahead of going the year after to get married so at least we can say like this is a nice restaurant you know so I think maybe next year our holiday will be to the Amalfi Coast which is exciting because it's like been my dream destination so yeah those are just some current wedding updates not that you guys are probably you know that interested because it doesn't seem like it's going to be much of a wedding it's just going to be a little small vow exchange but yeah those are my current wedding updates. Let me know if you guys have got married in the Amalfi Coast. I've slept on my ear really funny, so if I'm picking with me, that's why. This one's completely healed, but this one I thought was, but apparently not. But makeup is done. I don't know what the time it is. I've got about an hour. So I could do with do it sitting and doing some editing. I'll show you my outfit and then yeah, I've got about an hour till the girls will be here. I was gonna wait for a coffee, but I think I might have to go and make a coffee. Because I am in need of caffeine, but makeup is done. I'll show you my outfit. I'll probably sit and edit, not read, because I can read later. And yeah, then I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I am ready for the day. And I thought I'd give you a little outfit of the day. I just ended up straightening my hair, because you know when it's like not, not quite straight, like it was a little bit frizzy. So I thought I'm just going to run the straighteners through it. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of this hair oil by a brand called Bread. 
I haven't used this all that much, but it seems to be good. It smells quite nice. I'm just gonna run it through the ends. It's crazy, like sometimes, you know, when you don't feel like it's worth straightening your hair, but then when you do, you're like, oh, like, I look so much better. Okay, cute. And then for fragrance, I'm gonna go in with Juicy Couture, Vive, is it Viva La Juicy? I wanna say, I don't really know. So nice, literally drain myself in that. And then this is, this is the outfit. Little white top from H&M, the new one. I've put it on and like, it's actually, it's, the only thing I'd say is it's really quite long, like look, but cute with leggings to so like pull. Okay, but I've just like ruched it off. You can kind of see the bra through it, but I don't really care about that. I think that sometimes looks quite cute. And then PLT, little pinstripe trousers, pink and white, cute. And then I've just thrown on my yellow bags. I thought at least it's a cute pop of colour. Um, I could really do with like a pink bag, but like who cares to buy a pink bag in August? I feel like the pop of colour is quite cute. And then I'm just going to throw on my little white New Balance shoes. So this is the fit. I'm ready pretty early, so I'm not going to edit. I haven't really got long enough to get my teeth stuck into editing, but I've got long enough to get my, te my teeth stuck into the book. My car's got to stay at the garage till Thursday because they says they can't actually retest it, which I did think might be the might be an issue, but they didn't seem to say anything on the phone. Like they just booked it in, so I was like, well, you know, they know better than me. So I can't get it back until Thursday. So fingers crossed, it all just goes through fine on Thursday. But yeah. This is my outfit. I'm going to sit and read my book for a little bit and then I will show you guys what we get up to this afternoon. guys i'm really in my straight hair era normally i hate my hair straight but i think it's because like these bits are growing out so like it's not so severe like they're sort of like flowing in with the rest of my hair so time check it is it's three minutes past nine and i'm just picking me but we've got a pedi appointment at quarter past we haven't had one for a while this is obviously her last one pre becoming a mom pre you know birth all of that good stuff so i am gonna ask for mine to be cut really short because i think my nails have grown because we decided to stop going to like the walking salons and we found like a lovely home salon and she just must use better products because my nails haven't snapped whereas my toenails always snap always peel and they never grow that long whereas this time we've had a shorter break and my toes are so long like in my shoes that i like wear to the reno my feet have been hurting after and i think it's just because like my nails are rubbing up against it because they've grown so long so i'm gonna ask for her to just get rid of all the length because it's like it's not summer now no one's gonna see my toes so i'm gonna ask for her to cut them super short and um, i'm just waiting for me to come out and um, yeah i'm gonna ask for her to cut them really short and just like get off as much length as possible and i do like the color i've got but i don't know if to go for something a bit more like neutral the ones i've got at the minute are like pinky like ballerina pink so play it to away this morning i actually got up super early because i knew i'd want to read my book because oh god guys if you've read it the third book the plot twist i actually can't my ipad is in my bag because i'm hoping that when mia's getting her pedi they can chat away and jody can you know read her book because i've got about 50 pages left and i'm just like itching to start reading it i was even doing it doing my makeup this morning not the best because like, i feel like you can't it doesn't flow properly like i probably only read half of what i would but i mean i got through a little bit it's hard because like you're in the mirror and then you're trying to read and like then you're not looking at your face so i did try to read a little bit but it is wednesday it feels weird because i normally start the vlog on a tuesday so like i feel like today's thursday but because i actually started it on monday i'm like oh we're actually like linking up with days so yeah it is wednesday so i'm picking me up i promise at quarter past like i said we'll be in there for a probably about i can't remember how long was in there yet last time over two hours we'll probably be done i would say for like half 11 quarter to 12 then we're gonna go out with my mum because my mum hasn't seen me for a while since maybe she was like 20 something weeks so obviously they've got a lot of catching up to do them pair are obsessed with each other right? i mean i might get a chance to read my book when these two are here together um and we're gonna go for brunch with my mum and yeah here she is Here's Prego.
she doesn't look too happy. I think she's really getting a bit, you know, must be rough in the last days. She's got her Kindle too. This is why we're best friends. I've got my my um, iPad as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hopefully when me and of Hedy, I can just, you know, That's sit what I was thinking, mom. reading girls. I thought, oh, oh we were there a while last time, oh, no, weren't over we? Over two hours. I think it was I more. So I thought, you know, let's be... The exact same, I thought, I need to, you I'll know, take really. Just in case you fall. He doesn't take your event to fall. What's it? Um, here she is. Hello, everybody. You look happier, I just thought, oh, she looks a bit sad. Oh, why? Just the way you came out the door. Oh, no, I've just... I just felt a bit flustered coming down the stairs. But I'm okay, don't That's worry. Cute. No, um... No miserableness here, I'm fine. Although, do you know what? I washed my... I think, guess what time I had a shower last night? 10 o'clock. Ten past. <gasps> but I just had the longest day of my life, right? I washed my hand. I thought, so I decided I'll have an everything shower because I thought right. I felt stressed about having one this morning. Yeah, fair enough. I've got up and my hair is greasy again. Yeah, and I thought, what is going on? I Did don't you use the same thing. No, so I f I don't know if it's my hormones or whether I whether human error and I'm putting I'm not taking enough care when I'm putting my like products on. So I've had to slick it back. Where well, freshly washed hair, used oh. Olaplex, I feel sad. And then last night, right, I was pumping my boobs. So, and I did it for like half an hour. I thought, right, because I'm, I'm going to try and start freezing it. Mm -hmm. Oh God, it was so painful, right? Did all my whole exercise routine after my shower and everything. Took it, it off, I was in so much pain. <laughs> I did honestly about 15 pounds step just now. And um, what is she like? <laughs> <laughs> and you're honestly, right. well, they say to wind down, but I feel like winding up. Yeah. And I guess you just do what feels right. No, right. So I had to put it on right. My whole nipple on the side was like swollen. Oh. It was. I was like mortified. <laughs> like it was so painful. And no milk come out, and I thought I'm going oh, to oh bed. But I'm like, I'm true <laughs> through through, and I'm ready for a pedicure. So happy, happy, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday from me. Those are going to run out. So we will catch you in. You well, never have storage. I know, I just quickly deleted some. We need to get you some more in. storage, guys, but you're going to go. So we'll see you in the pedicure. Bye. Bye. Good evening. I've just pulled up at Sainsbury's. I feel really tired today and I don't know why. I think it's maybe because it's just been one of those days where like, you know, it's a lot of like sitting down, chatting and you know, and it's just like, sometimes the days where you do the least, it makes you the, more, the most tired. I don't know. Oh, I've also had two coffees today and I feel like I could be having a bit of a caffeine, like, you know, a hit. I don't know what the opposite of that is. It is 5.37. I've just got to Sainsbury's. I'm going to get some bits for dinner. I think I'm going to make meatballs for dinner. I'm really not hungry. I had loaded nachos at... So we went to Strawberry Fields. It's really cute there. Like, I've been a few times. I really like it. It's like a really just, like, cute, like, outdoor-y, like, style. It's just different to anywhere else I've really been. And that's, like, we've got around here. But like I had these oat nachos, they were okay. But like I feel like my mom's sandwich looked so good. She had a club sandwich. It looked gorgeous. And then you had some like little kids meals. Like mine was nice, but like it was just nothing like, you know, like what you want as like a side. It was just like cheese and sour cream. I don't know. I don't know what I expected from ordering it. But like I was just a bit bored. Like I wish I had like something else. Like I wish I would have a sandwich and then like maybe said, should we have some nachos in the middle, girls? Do you know? Like I was just a bit like, oh, I regret ordering that. Or I wish I would have ordered it with like chilli on. Like I was thought I was picturing like loaded chilli nachos and then it was without the chilli. So I was just like, oh. But I love it there. So that's like no hate on them. Like I do really like it there. I think it's a really just like lovely, like wholesome place. And 
yeah i do really like it they have like really good coffees and all of that so we did have a lovely day and it was nice for like me and my mum mia and my mum to just like you know waffle on catch up and all that good stuff so i'm glad that we had a lovely day and i've just chilled with my mum for a little bit we dropped mia off at her nan's um went back saw my brothers saw my doggies and yeah i'm just pulling up to sainsbury's now so i'm just contemplating going in and getting some bits for dinner and then i'm gonna go home and probably not cook straight away because i'm honestly not that hungry ollie's at the gym but i think i'm gonna go back and edit a bit of my vlog because i wanted to do it this afternoon but the time has just like got away with me and then i'm gonna edit the vlog properly in the morning and get it up for you guys tomorrow because i do normally like to do it on wednesdays but i am a little bit behind so i'm gonna do it tomorrow and then upload it for thursday so yes that will be a cute vlog and that's all really i have to say but we're gonna go and get some stuff for dinner i take myself some water because i'm really thirsty and yes i will see you guys in a little bit good morning guys i'm just about to get myself ready for the day but i finally got on the electrolyte hype electrolytes i've got the liquid iv ones and i got the flavor lemon and lime because i feel like that's just like my favorite sort of like flavored water but they had passion fruit they had strawberry but this here looks just looks like cloudy water it tastes a little bit like a you know when you have like a water infection you take the little sachet doesn't taste awful, taste awful it kind of tastes like when i put my salt water in there it's really meant to help you with like hydration and i've just not been either getting enough water or just not absorbing it properly so i thought that this would help it's got like, a lot of vitamins and minerals in but good morning i'm gonna drink this i'm gonna get myself ready and then we will catch up but i just didn't want to do this on my own the taste actually tastes quite nice it feels like thick water this is the first thing I've drunk this morning, so I'm hoping now that it, you know, hydrates me good. Good morning, officially, guys. Sorry that I was a little bit rushed this morning, but I knew that the camera didn't have much storage. This is just like the story of my life, but I have just come to Costa and I'm going to, instead of just like sitting in and editing all morning, I thought I'm going to bring myself out for a little coffee day. So I feel like it's just easier to like get a little bit like bit more productive it's just working from a coffee shop like if any of you guys work from home you'll know just sometimes like there's it can be really draining just having to like sit on your own with like nothing like i don't know i kind of like the external stimulation of like a coffee shop to get my own work done so yeah i've come to costa anyway i don't know what that is in my bag but that is peanut butter on my bag that is bizarre hate peanut butter um it is half past 10 i got up this morning read a bit of my book and i'm just filming a little i'm just filming a little tiktok because i'm actually working with on like a, a campaign about post-exam stress and i'm just like i thought wow like i absolutely love that because i remember being in sixth form and getting A after A after A in, um, in philosophy and ethics and I, I really thought like, wow like I'm gonna really come out on top and like there's like three different subjects and I was getting A's in one and then I was getting like B's in the other two and I was thinking like wow I could come on out on top you know like with a B and A I got a D <laughs> and I remember being like what and it turns out that the teacher that we had like he I think he ended up being like not suspended because he was like a supply teacher but like on a long-term basis he was basically just like giving us like all really high marks for basically no reason so he just gave me real false hope instead of actually like teaching us and like trying to push us he was just like yep hey so i'd be like i'm a good slay like you know i totally know this and you've got a day so i remember that feeling of like just like disappointment and it can be so daunting and like depending on your personality type like i've got the person type of personality where i knew it was a result today so like i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to sleep you know the nights before i'd be like oh my god like it's a result today like i remember just like always having a lot of anxiety regarding that but like 
and it's so hard like one of my sister-in-laws is going through this and i'm like i promise you like it seems like the biggest thing in the world right now and it's because it is like it's a very like it's a big thing for you but i'm like i promise you in like six months a year like you'll be like what did i even get like and you'll figure it out like it just it will never define you and like never use it as like a, a stop like sometimes it's just a, a crossroads and you think like okay maybe i thought i was gonna go down you know path a but really i meant to go down path c or path d or path c you know whatever b it just yeah but i know at the time like it can feel like oh my god like my whole world's over but like i could have really let that knock my confidence i still went on to you know graduate for first class like i absolutely slayed at uni and i was really really proud of myself despite everything that was going on so like i don't know how many of my youtube girlies are going through results but i feel like even like if you're at uni i'm sure a lot of us are you know it's the same sort of like dread like have i done enough but i feel like it's just always a running theme that on my like channel we will always be enough like as long as you've tried your best like what else can you expect for yourself like you can't beat yourself up as long as you know like you know like i worked as hard as i could you can't be angry at the result like you've literally done as much as you could do so yeah i'm really excited to be working on that campaign because i just feel like it's such a like positive like vibe which we love so yeah i'm gonna pop into costa probably just for like a couple hours i don't think i got the most footage from last week because i had a very quiet week i'm sure you guys will have watched the vlog but i'm gonna sit and edit that this morning and then get it uploaded for you guys this evening i am gonna go and see my nan and granddad and my pottery's ready so i'm gonna grab my nan and then say should we go and have a little mooch and go and pick up the pottery so i'm so excited to see it so i got at least i can show you guys they always say like way pardon me way longer than what it is i also need to do some oh look at the the new org clothing collection i also need to do some selects for a brand that i'm working with so i'm going to do that today and yeah just have a little bit of like a working working coffee date i guess so yay see you guys there hello guys right i make a can of ice and then i just got two pieces of brown toast because i am quite hungry but i didn't want like a paste or anything so i just got two pieces of brown toast with some butter and this little cute pot of jam I'm just gonna sit here. It's quite busy. Hopefully, my laptop is charged because I'm not wearing gloves. It's good old fail. There's not a lot of gloves in here. I've got like Starbucks, has more gloves than this. editing my video is exporting got myself these gorgeous flowers from the shop i got these were six pound it was like two packs of three pound white roses and then i don't know what these are these carnations maybe i love like an orangey peachy flower and i'm just gonna treat myself to a little you know pack of flowers every week so i feel like it really brightens up the room so we've done all of our work i've got a voiceover to do but time is ticking so i can do that in a little bit i'm gonna go and pick my nan up and we're gonna pop to the holly bush to pick up one of the girls pottery and then i also need to go to the printing shop i don't know if i'm gonna have a chance to do it this evening if not we'll do it tomorrow and i can't really talk about it because it's a surprise so i need to go to the printing shop um I think I'd be able to go to the printing shop today. I just don't think I'm going to be able to actually do the thing. But I can do it tomorrow morning when I get up. So it's no problem. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I slicked my hair off because I just didn't know what else to do with it. This is a little white fox top. These are my another version leggings. I've just got on my book slippers. And then this is just my ASOS bag because I can just chuck everything in it. So that's my POI of the afternoon. I'm going to go and pick my nan up, go and do those bits, and then this evening I'm going to see my little brother, and then we're going to go on a little driving lesson, which is fun, because he's got his provisional like insurance on his car now, and what else? I think that's about all, but I'm just not sure on the time, as I still haven't got time to cut the stuff out later, but we can get into it. So yeah, this is the fit, we're all done, let's go. I'm going to 
morning guys it is friday and i'm so excited because it's nearly the weekend which means the gender reveals tomorrow i've just had my everything shower out because we're gonna get spray tans tonight i haven't tanned since before australia so i'm pretty pale but like i don't really care but i was a little bit nervous thinking oh my god i'm gonna have to tan because i also need to show you guys my outfit that i'm wearing tomorrow but it's a dress i was thinking i need to tan but you know when you haven't tanned for so long and you're like feeling the pressure so when the girls suggested this right and i was like that sounds like a brilliant idea so that's what we're going to do but i thought i would do some pr because i got a really cute package yesterday from karen's and i thought that i did open it because i was nosy while my mom was like what is that is that karen's so we have opened it but i haven't actually you know looked it's such a bougie thing though like i haven't really had many PR parcels like this that are like proper like it's for their new double serum it's for that um i'll show you anyway it comes in this cute box look and then it goes where is it oh yeah wait okay she's fallen out because the glue's come off but look at that how cool is that? So it's their like new serum. I've never actually used this, but I don't know how to work it. It's got like a little, this is how much it comes out. Oh, it's like a, see that like a oil. You can try it. I'm not gonna do makeup today because I think Obviously, I'm going to have a spray tan, so I'm only going to have to take it off this afternoon. Wow, that has really brightened up my skin. Kind of is giving me like, you know, the double, what's it called? The overnight renew. It's a bit oily. But it's added a nice like glow to my face. Yeah, a little bit oily. So maybe if you've got oily skin, I don't know whether that would be the best. But it's, I know Clarins obviously always come out with very cool products. It's got like anti-aging um yeah so thank you karen that is so kind and then i also got sent oh i did show you the sun mask did i i can't remember the perfume well people i posted it on my story so many of you guys messaged me like they are the best scents like they're incredible like you're going to be obsessed so i was like so excited to try and obviously like i said i've just everything showered so i've got no product on so I thought we could try them. I'm also starving and that brownie is really looking at me, but I'm gonna not. So I guess, so that's the oil. Gosh, that smells very perfumey. That smells like a perfume, but I don't know what. Okay, and then this is Soft Paradise. This is on the iPad. I haven't had a spray tan for about three years, so I'm hoping it all turns out okay. And we're going to like the tanning shop. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but there's like no person. I was dreaming about it last night actually. And um, there's like no person there. You just literally like go. And I think it's like a Ross out of friend situation. I mean, guess we're like, oh, you know, we could come out like an eight on the front, a two on the back, but we're just gonna try. This is the box. How cute. Oh my God, that bottle is so pretty. Oh shit, I just pulled the bow off. What is actually wrong with me? I feel very heavy handed today. Let's just take that off. What a gorgeous bottle. Okay. Let's do a little spritz. Oh, very musky. I can't remember the one that I had. Like, you could pick like pears on the gifting. That kind of reminds me of Helfetti in like a weird or roundabout way like that's probably the closest scent that i've smelled like similar but i think if you i don't want to put it on because like i said i want to keep my skin really fresh but i think if you put the oil on and then you spray on those parts it will like layer differently which is a really fun idea because you could get like the perfume and then you know a couple of different um oils or whatever and just make it like yeah it kind of just gives me health fetish 
Hmm. Okay, and then I also thought that while I'm sat here, while I'm sat here, I would show you all the bits that I bought for the gender reveal party because we've been like obviously very busy on Amazon and things. And I thought I'd just show you because if any of you guys have got like parties coming up for yourselves or you've got like friends or sisters or whoever having a baby, then I thought I'd just show you because obviously tomorrow it's all going to be put up. We're going to like blow a lot of this stuff up tonight so I won't be able to really show you. So everywhere's everything's from like a range of places. This is from the range. This was like 4 99 and it's the baby boxes but it comes with 24 balloons which I thought was really good. So it's got pink balloons, grey balloons and blue balloons. And I think you just stick the letters onto the box. So, because we're having some like professional balloons like done and delivered, but you've also got this. So I thought it was cute. We could put it like by the balloons or just like by the entryway. We've also had to have a marquee put up, which looks actually really good. Like I'm so glad that, so one of Ollie's friends, um, before we went to Australia was doing this like patch party situation. So he has this like huge marquee it's meant to rain tomorrow which is so annoying but luckily he's in england at the minute and he come to the rescue so we've got a gorgeous marquee outside so like even if it does rain that like, will be fine so i feel like it's nice now that we've got a lot of these decorations to just like really like gender reveal it up and we're gonna have some like pink and blue flower walls and stuff so it's gonna be really cute so oh this is just the electric balloon pump i got this off amazon because like i said we've got a lot of balloons to pump so we thought we might as well just get that um, and make a little bit of like a conveyor about like someone blows it up, passes it on to Ty, etc. Along with that, I got these like I don't know what you call them, but you like put the balloons in them to make like balloon like not bouquets, but do you know what I mean? Like, so they're all together, so you don't have to tie them with ribbon. So I got a pack of like 50 of those, I think. And to be fair, like we said, a lot of this stuff. Like, we're obviously going to be having a lot of parties in the future, whether it's, like, birthday parties, more gender reveals, baby showers. Like, so we're just going to invest in all the party supplies and just make our own little, you know, Anthony party company. So, yeah, we've got some little balloon things. Then, team girl stickers. Is it crazy that tomorrow we'll know? Hell. I think there's team boy stickers in there as well. Yeah, because there's a few sheets in there. So I think those are just gender stickers for people to stick on. Or like on their drinks or something. Then we got some more pink and blue balloons. I think there's 50 in there. Yeah, 50 pack. To blow up and just to do whatever with. Okay, this is my bunting stuff, which I actually need to finish today. So I'll leave that out and I'll show you that in a minute. I got these from the garden centre yesterday, just a blue and pink citronella candle. You just stick them in the ground. And I thought because it's outside, these could be quite good. And I just saw them and thought they could just look cute. So we got those. Everyone has like got different bits. So like obviously her friends are involved. And like her mum's involved. Like there's like a, everyone sort of got their own like stuff to bring and do. So this isn't everything. But um, we've got some pens because I got these. They actually sent me the wrong ones of these, but I'm just going to keep the mummy and daddy ones for... I mean, they could go out. I mean, the thing is, like, the gender reveal is, like, more, like, family, so it's, like, boys and girls, whereas, obviously, a baby shower is just typically just girls. So, I feel like that's when you get a lot of these, like, cute little games done. But maybe I could just put these out, and then if they don't get done, we can just bring them for the baby shower. But they're, like, little baby predictions, and she's having, like, a few bears and things so i thought these would be cute and just to get like not just off all the women in like the family to get like the boys and friends and things like that so i'm gonna throw a few of those out that's why i got some pens then we got some hello baby confetti this was from the range i could maybe do today with popping and getting a few more packs i don't know how many is going to be in here i mean to be fair it does look like there's quite a few but these are just to like go on the tables and things baby gender reveal related then i got these now these are before i knew about the printing shop so now i wish i would have just made my own and like made them more um like personalized but i'd already brought these and then i found out about the printing shop so i just thought okay well i've already got them now um but these are like little like games well not games but there's like share your favorite baby names 
So I think we're just gonna like maybe stick these like up around the marquee and then people can just like write names on or whatever. Just like cute little keepsakes. Then we've got the old wives tale. So I think before, maybe before they do the balloon or like whatever, someone should like get everyone to like listen and then ask the questions circle and then like have like a bit of like a prediction before it pops do you know what i mean so that or we could just do it before and then put it up so people can look and think like oh we think it's going to be you know but something like that i thought that would be a really fun thing to do and they are really cute and then also twinkle twinkle little star how we wonder what you are boy girl so you can just like these stickers come with this and you can just put the stickers on it the blue and white blue and pink stickers so yeah and these would also look really cute like on um like cups and things and then I, this was like 12 pound of amazon this whole pack like it all came in a pack really affordable so there's like team boy team girl and then we've already got like a personalized one of these but it just says welcome to the big reveal he or she come in to see um so i might just like put up these like maybe around the like marquee just to like make it look cute but yeah team boy and team girl could be cute for like pictures you know like props like <laughs> so yeah i can't believe we're gonna have a baby we're gonna know which what they are i really think it's gonna be a girl um but who the hell knows okay so the bunting i'm just oh, i don't want jessica in because she doesn't know about it and i'm like i know she's going to get her lashes done so i'm like just waiting for her to fake out the property but basically I'll show you the one that I've done, one that I did earlier. Well, I did this last week with Phoebe. I got like a baby photo and a toddler photo of them both. Put party hats on them because I see them on TikTok. You know when people do it for like people's first birthdays? Well, I just thought this would be so cute because again, like with the gender reveal being like more like boys and girls of the family, I thought it would just be cute to do like more like personalized bits. So I got some baby pictures of them and then it says like girl or boy and then basically it's on i can't really show you because me and phoebe really struggled so it'll be like this look how cool for like diy so yeah yesterday i went and got more clouds printed so i wasn't i only printed the clouds off like on a whim i didn't really know what i was going to do with them but then when we come to actually like make them we were like oh the clouds actually look really cute so I've got the more that perfume settles the more it smells like Helfetti I don't know how much the, it is but it really smells like Helfetti okay so I've also got these blue or pink what do you think I made these because she loves bears and like neutral themes so like we've tried to go for like neutrally but also with blue and pink because like it's fun because it's like boy or girl you know so I think these are cute. I think I might just put these like on the tables, like around. So I've got three of those ones. And then in here, so guess the gender of baby Anthony. So that's gonna be like somewhere around with the games. Like we can just stick this on. We might need some double-sided tape. Then another blue or pink, what do you think? And then this one, so Amber, my other sister in her husband, like drew like a tree and it's like the he or she tree. So we've got blue and pink paint and then you put your finger in the paint, you stick it on the tree, write your initials. So then it will make like a really pretty tree and it's just like a cute keepsake for them. So it says, what will they be? Add your guest to baby Anthony's tree. So that will just like go by like the easel that it's on and then people can just do that. And this is so fun, honestly, I've always loved party planning and i just love it so yesterday i just printed off some more basically girl or boy clouds i couldn't remember how many i needed so i just got like how many did i get five of each i think yeah um and then in here so then what i did to actually get the like create the bunting i got these pieces of like string rope from the range these were like really affordable it's 85 meters so we got pink and blue and i thought perfect and then i've just got more of the actual like little party hat so there's a few i think these are all the spare ones yes yeah, so what 
I think we've got like one of each spare so I might just make like one on its own with the spares but these are oh and I also yeah I did that one on the top so that's also a spare um hole punched here so I already did this last week but I wasn't vlogging um so I thought I'd just show you guys now so yeah this is the like the little girly hat and then oh yeah I think I've literally got it perfect with the clothes and then the little toddler of Nick and then basically we did like I'm gonna have to get on the bed it's just I feel like she's gonna go any minute and I don't want to start because I just don't want her to come in. Oh, I think she's drawing her hair. Um, so yeah, basically that's what I need to make this morning and then it's done and I'm thinking then basically the POA of the day is Mia's gonna come and pick me up. I need, I get my car back today as well. Thank the Lord I get my car back. So we're gonna have her. I mean, driving the new car has definitely made me, like driving that car that I've been driving the last few weeks, it's definitely made me appreciate having my own car because i had a lot of anxiety thinking like this isn't my car and like you know if you was ever to hit it like it's just obviously a lot more serious than hitting your own car so like had anxiety for that but i also like did make me like think okay i definitely am ready to let go of my car but then i do love my car i have so much emotional attachment to my first car so i don't know but we have said like the the renovation is definitely going to be coming up you know to wraps within the next three months i would say so I can wait for a car like I don't really care um but I'm definitely gonna be having a new car probably if it's not by the end of the year it'll be like the start of next year I shall be getting one so yeah okay I am gonna start making the bunting so this is just what I'm gonna throw on today I don't know what to wear to the spray tan I haven't had a spray tan in that long like I don't really have any dark pajamas to wear I could do with so what I'm gonna do is just get everything off the bed. Okie doke, right, we'll do the boy one first. Okay, I got it. I just got this from the range. So, um, do I hole punched any? No. Okay, to make them like as symmetrical as possible, I'm just gonna like push it as far down. And then this is what we want. Like so, basically. Okay, now do the same with the boys. I love doing stuff like this. Like, I feel like I've been able to do so many crafty things recently and I just love it because I feel, feel like it's such a in a child thing. So we did two faces, then a cloud, two faces, then a cloud, two faces, and then I've got two clouds to put on the end. If I want, but I can't if we do that with the other ones. So we also figured that on the the best way was to make sure that the rope is like doubled up as it tends to like flip. So you guys will see what I mean, but I'm gonna do it twice. It looks cute when you do it this way because you end up with like the detail on the hat which i think looks really cute and then on the cloud i put it behind so obviously you can read it properly i think it just like adds to the detail okay they're done they look so cute this is all finished now so here's the toddler of jess and i had like one of each i know i'd accidentally hold punch this one but i'm hoping no one will realize i had like one spare of each so i'm thinking just a little um like the little four on their own and then this is how it turned out so it's quite hard to show you like standing up but um now i'm tight but now i'm a little bit more secure so this is how it looks 
So they're going to be like hung like somewhere on the marquee like this. Obviously we can stretch them out. We've got a lot of extra um, like rope either side. So they can be a little bit more stretched out. But it's how they look. They look really cute. I'm really, really, really happy with them. And then this is how the little like full one will work. I might even like put them like on the table like with the food. Like that, that might be this one. So obviously we've got four and then a little one. So I've just been tying them in a little loose knot. I'm gonna get myself ready and then I will probably see you guys with Mia. I think we're just gonna, she wants to go to Stafford, have a little look around Primark. So yeah, I think we might get something to eat. I'm quite hungry today. So I'm not gonna get something to eat, grab a coffee and yeah, all of that good stuff. Oh, yeah. Just everyone's sorting everyone's you? content now. <laughs> There you go, you can have two. And then we've got a spare. Alright. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Look, I'm on a show. I oh, know. Why do we do I don't know. It's very strong. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like a hint more vanilla. Mm. So it does kind of remind me of Tim Hortons and that is French vanilla. So I don't know if a French vanilla just isn't as strong it, as vanilla. It, I feel like it's a coffee that you'd get in, like, in France. Like, or like on holiday, you know, when they're like usually a bit strong, they don't put loads of syrup yeah. in. You know like what I mean? Like, 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 yeah, but I feel like, I don't feel like I get that experience with it, which is so funny. But it smells strong. Yes. Did I put anything else as a bag? Guys, guess what car I'm in? <laughs> We're back in the yard. Um, it feels so weird. Like, I'm a bit scared to drive it. It has literally been nearly a month. The clutch feels so high. All my radio's turned off and everything. Greatest hits on. Honestly. It feels like foreign to be in here. Like I even just went to lock the doors there. It passed with no advisories, which is such a slide because I'll tell you what guys, I had a right list of things that needed doing to it. But yeah, it passes, passed with no advisories, which is brilliant. It hasn't passed with, I feel like always it passes with an advisory, like even if it's just like, you know, you should probably do this. I picked something up from Primark. We had just a very chilled lunch and then we just quickly ran into Primark. But obviously because I've already took you guys on, God, even the, the handbrake feels weird. Um, because I went with you guys on Monday, um, there was nothing new in there. It was literally all the same. So I picked up some black trousers because I thought they'd be good to wear for my spray tan. So I've got about 45 minutes till I'm leaving for that. But yeah, I'm gonna drive my car. It feels so weird. Like my clutch feels really high. I've I've always sat really close to the clutch in this car. Like I feel really like high and like squished. I've always sat as close as I can, but I actually think I can like move my seat back a bit and be okay. It all feels so different. My handbrake feels different, my gear stick feels different. It's not making a loud noise because the exhaust has been fixed. It doesn't sound like a boy racer car. What the hell? Oh, there's nothing like your car. Like, I feel like you just feel so safe in your car. And, like, I feel like me. Like, I felt, like, cool in the other car. But, like, I felt like a bit of an imposter. And, like, just not myself. Like, now I feel, like, whole again, you know. So, I'm going to run home. Um, I could do with wrapping Jesse's birthday presents up. So, I might do that now. And then, yeah. Then we're going to go and have a spray tan. So, I'll share the experience with you. Because I've never done this either. So, I'm a low-key, a little bit nervous. But... I'm just gonna put on like a very loose um like fit i'll show you my joggers when i get in so i'll see you guys there because i'm not very good at driving with this vlog on because it moves so back in the car everything just feels so different isn't it so weird we're into third <laughs> and yeah i will see you guys at home we've got some horns Okay, we've got a little Primark haul and also a hospital. Let's see. Okay, I ordered this dress. <laughs> this is like the new version of the dress that I was going to wear for the gender reveal. And I only ordered it because I got a bit of FOMO in case this is cuter. 
So I just sort of thought, well, why have they made this dress? So this is the one that I was planning on wearing. It's from, I haven't even picked it out of the box. It's probably really. So this is the one that I had ordered. I showed it you in a couple of vlogs ago. It's just like a cute, like, I thought it was just a cute, like, barbs, you know, summer barbecue dress. So it's like this and it's got, like, the layers. Whereas the new one that they release is, like, thinner straps and it's just, like, like a mini dress. It just, like, hangs. Like, more of a square neck. It looks a bit more tablecloth. So I don't know if one will be cuter, but I'm going to wear either. I'll try them on tomorrow. I can't not be bothered to try them on right now. So it's going to be one of them. And then from Primark... I saw these, these were like the only thing that I didn't see yesterday and Monday. I thought they were black, but they actually say they're navy. These were only eight pounds, which I thought was so good. Got them in a size small. And they're just like a wide leg jogger. Like this, but they're a really soft, like stretchy, just like nice material. And I thought these would be perfect, especially for tonight. And like, I just love a slouchy trouser like this. You know one that's just like super comfy. So I'm gonna throw these on, so I'll show you how they look. Oh my god, I love them. I'm, I didn't know whether to get them in a small or a medium for the vibe, but you know what? These are actually so, so cute. Like, they're so soft. They feel like really soft pyjamas. And I just feel like if I saw these in, like, Brandy Melville or something, I'd be like, wow. And for £8, I thought I have to get them. So, yeah. I feel like these are perfect to wear after a spray tan because they're just, like, nice and loose. So, next clip you will see is me having my spray tan, I just need to moisturise up my elbows and stuff. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get cocoa water. I'm just going to put a bit of this. My elbows, I noticed earlier, were specifically dry, so I'm just going to put a bit on my elbow. And then I'm going to put the rest on my knees. So I will show you the experience. I don't know, obviously, know how many clips I'm going to be able to get, but I will try to get something you know, to show you guys. Guys, I'm giving you a little tan update. So, this is like six hours she says that you should let it develop for at least eight but i'm just gonna sleep in mine this is how we're looking so i had dark and then i had a bronze shot look i love the color it's gone i'd say it's gone like somewhere it's like dark um i don't obviously know how i'm gonna wake up in the morning but it was actually like a good experience i don't know like different lights show it differently um I'm thinking I'm gonna be happy with it. The only thing I'm slightly worried about is I don't really like the way my makeup sits on tan, but I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna see how it looks in the morning. I might give it like a scrub off on my face, I don't know, but I should be okay, like, even if I just do like light makeup. Um, but I was so happy with it. It was actually like a lot more user friendly. We all went in together. It was obviously hard to get clips because obviously we were naked, um, but it was really easy. There was like four spots and you just went like, this and you went like this then this and then this and then you were done and yeah this is the color i've got a lot darker since i came out and also my face was really red where it's like developed into a nice orange so yeah 15 pounds which i think is so good like you can just go whenever which i think is so handy i broke my nail i'll show you but we've been setting up all night. It's really late, it's like half 10. We're all gonna go to bed now because we've got an early start. So I can't wait to show you guys in the morning how it looks. It's like really dark at the minute, so there's no point. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. And I can't wait to find out whether I'm gonna have a niece or a nephew, but I think it's gonna be a niece. Good night. Good morning. I actually feel like it's Christmas. I have such like a, you know, not when you, or like your birth, not that it's my birthday, but like, you know, it's really exciting to happen and you've got like a, like a little feeling, like a little buzz. That's how I feel, but I thought I'd show you my tan before I wash it off. The only thing I would say was, I wish I went more like that. Like that is my literal pet hate with tan. This tan's not so bad, I mean. There's little bits that definitely need like a, in the shower, but I think, oh, my full top just popped open. 
I think like it's a nice colour. So this is with one bronze, like bronze shot, I think she called it. She did try to make stuff too. I'm glad we just had the one because Jess messaged me this morning like I feel really brown. And I was like, same. But my legs look a really nice colour. Like, it's just the hands, which look a bit dark, but I feel like they don't look like patchy or anything. They're just they've got like little bits just you know like here. Yeah. But I feel like I can sort that out. I obviously need to wash the face, but I'm going to jump in the shower now. I've been up since about half six, it's half eight. I've been downstairs, had a cup of tea. I haven't had a cup of tea for ages. Um, I've just been reading a bit of my book. It's quite wet at the minute, it's been raining through the night, so there's not much we can do right now. So I'm just going to hold off, I'm going to have a shower. Um, and then I don't even know whether to like do my makeup before like i don't know whether it's better to set up then get ready or get ready and then set up i don't really know it all depends on the rain because if it's raining it's not meant to rain past 10 though and um, people are getting here for 12. so yeah but i'm gonna jump in the shower i'm gonna show you my tan before so this is before whenever i've tanned i never use any products like on myself i just let the water run off and then i'll just put some moisturizer on later like when i'm actually like getting ready so yeah I wanted to say good morning, this is the tan, I'm excited. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you a little rundown of the setup before it's actually set up. So, we've very kindly managed to get this off one of Ollie's friends because he used to have like a little party business before he went to Australia. So, it's a really cute marquee. Obviously these bits are gonna be pulled up, but just for now, we've left them down. And then we got these off Amazon, like pink and blue, like these flowers and they all hang and I think it looks so cute. So I think the balloon setup's gonna be like somewhere like here in the middle. Um, and then they've obviously got a bit of carpet. And then these are the colours that Ollie's friend originally had, purple and cream. So we've put these on like the other marquee just to, you know, add the vibes. And we've got some tables, um, food tables over there. We've got all marquees over there. Table, table, table. I think the girls come in at half nine to do the balloons. Hello. And yeah, I think she's coming at half nine and it is... 10 past so I'm gonna wait down here for her I have had balloons I've heard before for like Ollie's birthday then yesterday we did these balloons and they all look a bit disheveled but they're like flowers so you can see better with that one so like a pink flower with a blue blue flower with a pink and I feel like they also look a bit like dummies um, then we built this yesterday baby and then these are all the little bits that I showed you guys yesterday for the tables And then we've got like an array of things here, all little bits for drinks. This is something that one of Ollie's mum's friends did. Cups, napkins, plates, drink dispensers. And then this is the tree. And we've got this to go on it. I'm gonna go mm, pink. that I am psychic because let's just rewind ourselves back to the start of the vlog 
where I said, it's gonna be a girl. I have never been wrong. When it has come to someone telling me, like someone close to me telling me that they are pregnant, I am always right. Even with like people I don't really know, like I feel like I have such a gauge of what gender this person is supposed to be a parent of. It is wild. Like I had only met this girl once, one of Ollie's friends, and she was like, I'm having my gender scan next week. Like I really don't know what I'm having. And I was like, I really think you're gonna have a girl. I was like, I can feel it like, you were just meant to have a girl, like I can sense girl energy. Lo and behold, did she have a girl? Well, she's having a girl. The day Mia told me she was pregnant, I think you're having a girl. She is having a girl. Jess, before Jess even told me she was pregnant, I was like, you are always gonna have a girl. Like I just knew and literally she told me, like when she told us she was pregnant, I was like, yeah, you're, you're having a girl. Like I can bet my life on it. And this whole way I've been like, girl, girl, girl she had a scan and the nub we've never seen such a clear nub theory example like i was like whoa like i thought you were a girl already but like that is a girl like i was looking at the scans like i just get real girl energy there was only one day where i thought it was a boy and it was because i was letting external people get in my head that because like ollie's mom had gone to a scan and she was like it's got really long legs and long feet she was like i just feel like it's a boy and i was like it's got long legs and long feet i was like hmm but i was like i did kind of wave but i thought no in my gut I know this baby is going to be a girl and i feel so lucky like as an auntie my best friend is having a girl my sister-in-law is having a girl like literally like two of the closest girls in my life are having daughters and i feel like that is just such a blessing like i would have been like so excited still like if they were having a boy because obviously we don't have any nieces or nephews right now and like the fact within six months i'm gonna have two nieces is wild and like i just feel like it's so fun like to have girls because I do really feel like I'm just gonna put it out here I feel like I'm gonna be a boy mom I've always like the last few years like I've always said to Ollie like I that is really annoying by the way so I'm gonna keep this short but I've always said to Ollie like I think we will have boys um and if I'm going off my psychic ability that I seem to be developing maybe I'm right I don't know maybe it will change when I'm actually pregnant and I can like gauge something from my energy but yeah, I feel like it's so fun. Like the fact that I'm gonna have like a little baby niece in the next few weeks is crazy. And then the fact that I'm gonna have another baby niece in how many weeks? Like six months, five months, February, however long away that is, is crazy. Like I'm so excited. I was so happy. And like, I feel like it's really special the fact, cause this is the first grandchild on Ollie's side of the family. I feel like it's so special that she's a girl because Ollie's mum has had six boys and like she's she to be fair like she's always like oh my god like it was such a blessing like the fact that I've got six boys like it's pretty iconic the fact you have birthed six boys but I just feel like the family needed some female energy and like the fact there's gonna be this like little baby girl that is gonna like boss everyone around like I'm just so here for it like the energy has been like this for a while like boy energy girl energy it was me and Liam for a long time and then like the last two years we've had three extra girlfriends so like you know we're we're slowly getting and now I feel like this girl has made a girl like, like I feel like girls fully rule the family now and I'm so excited about it so yes this is your sign to throw your sister a gender reveal because it was the most fun day we didn't let the rain ruin it rained for like half an hour luckily we had the marquees and it was it was amazing like we had the best day so yeah I haven't spoken to you guys because I was just really busy with it all like setting it up and then obviously like at the party I wasn't about to pull the vlogging camera right in front of everyone um and then like after we were taking it all down so it's just been like a very busy sort of like weekend but i am lying in bed editing this vlog and i realized that i didn't really end it and i also realized that i didn't show you guys my pottery so i thought i'd show you my artistic work how stunning i feel like from back here it looks a lot better i feel like i could definitely i feel like my raspberries i was really really worried about but i actually feel like the raspberries are the best part also spray tans everywhere on my body is beautiful but my hands are awful like my hands need i also pulled all my nails off um i need to scrub my hands and maybe just put some like gradual tan on because it's a shame because like the rest of my body is still nice and tanned but like my hands are awful like i'm embarrassed like i feel like going like this but yeah I feel like I could learn. My oranges are cute. My blueberries are cute. My strawberries are. Mm, my cherries are. Mm. I feel like I 
feel like in my new house I could totally eat my breakfast off, breakfast off this and feel pretty cool so yes what a fun week we've had I'm so excited I'm gonna wrap this clip up because that man is not stopping whatever he's doing so I love you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you want to see especially going into our favorite autumn favorite autumn favorite season of the year autumn let me know if you want some shopping videos if you want some autumn hauls if you want some like cozy routines we could do like a morning routine or an evening routine something like that like really cozy vibes um let me know and let me know when you want to start seeing the content like i'm aware it's still only august so it's not really autumn but i feel like it is and yes very exciting period of my life i'm about to turn 24 i'm about to wrap up my house renovation i say we're probably halfway my best friend is about to have a baby my sister and always having a baby like it's all really exciting like i feel really lucky to be in this phase of life like it's all so happy like feels like just like a season of happiness and i feel like that's lovely to be in so yes thank you for coming along with me on the journey and i love you guys so much i'll see you on my next video bye